And she started. Just be quiet for three seconds. Oh my, you make more noise you want. Alright. I don't really know you. Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Today I have cucumber, I have some onions with polish, some eggs, some jasmine rice, and to top it all off, I have some Dutch apple pie, something I've never had on the channel before. So I am hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some food in me, and then we'll go ahead and start with the topic. Some beef sausage today. So how are you guys doing today? How's your weekend going? Hopefully it's going good. Mine is going good. I just have some water here, some cold water. All right, so the topic that um, I'm going to discuss today was actually requested from a friend of mine. So, this is nothing personal or anything like that. It was just that um, one of my friends was like, hey, you know, why don't you do a topic on this? So, it's not easy to come up with content. I told you guys that before. So, it's kind of cool that other people give you ideas. So, So, the topic today is about family. And what it's about is family is supposed to be family regardless. Good times, bad times, whatever times. We're supposed to be there for one another, to love one another, to help one another, to support one another any way we possibly can. But what happens when you stop doing for your family members and then they stop talking to you? <laughs> I know this is a difficult situation, um, a difficult topic for some people because they have experienced it. And I just feel like whether a person has money, whether they don't have money or whatever you know, situation they're in, we should just support one another, period. You know, especially family. There will be times that your kids need you. Um, they're in college, they're in high school. They need money for this, that, and the third. And that's, you know, all to be expected. But like, with siblings, it's a little bit dicier because we all came here together as brothers and sisters. We're supposed to be there for one another. And sometimes I think it's expected for the family member that has a little bit more to do for the ones that have a little bit less but you know maybe the person that has a little bit more you know feels like they're being yanked on in too many different directions all the time so you know needless to say the person that doesn't have that much feels like the person that does have a lot should be there for them more you know than maybe they are and maybe that's true, but 
they certainly can't be there for that person all the time. And sometimes maybe your financial status should change. <laughs> So that you guys can like balance one another out. So that that person doesn't feel, you know, burdened all the time, you know, to just, or expected to, you know, fit the bill all the time. That's pretty much what it is. So just trying to be understanding towards both sides, towards a family member that has the financial capacity and the person that needs help. We should just love on one another, regardless of our financial status or anything. And if that person needs you, whether they have money or not, just be there for them, you know? And if you can, if you have the finan finances to help them, just help them. <laughs> you know, just help them. Don't make them feel bad because they need you or anything like that. But also, don't be a burden on the person that, you know, is helping you all the time, too. You know? Take the help. And then, you know, try to make it with what you have. Don't keep coming to that person, you know, pulling on them all the time. Because they're going to feel like, okay, there's such and such calling again. They need some money. <laughs> So, yeah, let's just love on one another, you know, just to love one another. Well, that's it. That's really all the topic I have today, other than, you know, just piggybacking on um, Be Love, which is talking about as YouTubers, you know, we should, you know, try to do what we have to do to try to make things happen. And I appreciate that video that she put out. And I took that to heart. She said that we should always do something. You know, even if we're still doing YouTube, make bracelets, <laughs> you know, make a sauce, do something for yourself to make it happen in the meanwhile. Because we don't know, you know, when our channel is going to take off. So in the meanwhile, you know, we work as well, but do a little something else, you know, just to, you know, keep the bank, you know, going, bank account going. So, I took heed to that message, and I'm going to try to do whatever I have to do, try to make it happen for my family, because it's not going to happen unless you make it happen. So, that's pretty much all I have today. I just wanted to share this little bit of food with you guys, and kind of share a little bit of a topic with you. So... I'll go ahead and let you guys go. And in the meanwhile, happy eating. Look at me, don't you see? I'm on top, finally. This is real. This is us, I'm so happy to be living me.